Hello, Alfredo. Good evening. Good evening, Chair. How are you? Fine, teacher. Okay. Hello, Domingo. Hi, Marco. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Alba. Good evening, Domingo. Good evening, teacher. How was your day? What did you do today? Uh, Song board. You have to work. You have to work. <laughs> okay, yes. We need to work for our daily bread. For el pan de cada día, for our daily bread. <laughs> daily bread. The daily bread, yes. ¿Cuál es el último okay. día para entregar la, la tarea de la plataforma, Ticha? Como es este cada semana, ¿verdad? Ahora es la conferencia número 4, mañana. Tomorrow. Right. Tomorrow. Yeah, because uh, I, thought I can't entry uh, on my cell phone. And the platform. You have problems. But in my cell phone, I reviews in the laptop. Mm -hmm. ver en la laptop, porque creo que aquí empecé haciendo. Veré si lo podemos hacer. Tú. Um, para iniciar, sí, yo creo que tendré problemas en la contraseña, teacher. Es la misma, el, el usuario. ¿verdad? El usuario es el mismo. Las que es marco en el 5. Es the same. Ok. Me salió inglés principiante 4, 3, 2, 1. Sí, como está en el 4. Ah, sí, vamos a ver. Ah, ya puede entrar. Ok, that's nice. Sí, en mi celular no pude. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Everything is fine. And what about you? Yes, we are okay. And the classmates too. I think so. <laughs> I, I'm just fixing something, guys. I have, oh. Okay, guys, thank you for being in the class on time. <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate that, guys. And as you notice, somebody from uh, Ingres Corporativo sent you a reminder that it is important to attend the classes, okay? Uh, many people, I understand that yesterday was very difficult because of the rain, but thanks God we could 
we could have the, uh, the class yesterday without any problems, right? So um, try to try to be here, okay? It's, it's, I mean, it's good for you because you have to, um, you have to attend, right? The at least 80% of the classes. Hey guys, let me take uh, the attendance, please. So the first person in the list, Alba Dinora. Present. Hey, Alvita. Alfredo Alexander? Present teacher. Amir Carcañegues? Present teacher. Cristina, perdón, Carlos Walberto Rodríguez? Present teacher. Cristina Romero? Domingo Alexander González? Present teacher. Fátima del Carmen Portillo. José Matías Lemus Ramírez. Here. Mar Marco David Velázquez. Present. Marlon Cardona. Present. Mauricio Alexander. Maydeli Díaz. I think she's present, but as oyente. Nancy Rodriguez. Present teacher. Rocío Martínez. Um, Salvador Escobar. Sandra Yamilet Velázquez. Okay, Sandra is going to have her baby very soon. Victor Salazar. Walter Daniel. Okay. Walter Daniel González. William Eduardo Pérez. Present. And Jasmine Melanie Lem. Okay, welcome to the class. Very good. Yes, we have uh, 15 students today in the class. My Denise says present. Okay, guys, just let me share the screen with you. Today, I think I, I didn't send it right. Okay, guys. So today we have uh, um, we have the class number four, which the topic is how to use be going to. That is the topic of today's class. Be going to. So first, uh, in the warm up, we are going to review what we learned yesterday. We're going to practice can. Then in the activity one, you're going to learn the information you need for shipping or to transport um, some materials or products. Then in activity two, you're going to learn going to, how to use it. We have the conversation practice and finally the wrap. So in the first activity, I have these uh, sentences. Um, in these sentences, you have to read and you have to tell me what is the occupation or the job that uh, the person um, who can do these activities. No sé qué es la... ¿Cuál es el problema que tendrá Salvador para entrar? Thank you. 
Teacher, es que con el nuevo enlace que mandaron, eh, uh -huh. a mí para entrar tuve que, que, que llenar ahí unas cosas que me pedían uh -huh. y, y que no era robot, dijo ahí para registrarme. Entonces, uh -huh. y luego me volvía, volvía a caer a lo mismo y no me dejaba entrar. Bueno, ahorita le estoy Entonces, no sé si eso es lo que Quizás ese es el problema que le dio. Hay una nueva actualización de Zoom y eso creo que está afectando bastante. Eh, sí, creo que también eso. Sí es necesario mantener la, la, la aplicación actualizada. Déjenme ver aquí la información de la... Permítanme, un momentito. Okay. Sí, pero sí es... Esta es contraseña 7488. Ya. Just let me send it to him directly. A ver, tal vez hoy sí puede entrar. Okay, so as I was telling you, the topic of today's class is that you can use going to, okay? To talk about uh, uh, those uh, things in the work in which you need to transport. So here in, the, um, in this exercise, we have uh, some sentences. For example, you have to tell me which is the, the person who can do these things. For example, who can grow vegetables and fruit? What is the number one? I don't understand. Farmer? Exactly. Farmer? Yes, it's the farmer. Farmer is number one. Thank you. Number one is the farmer. Number two, I can paint houses and buildings. The printer. The painter. 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 Who can cook you nice dishes in a restaurant? Chef. The chef. Chef. Who can play the drum in a band? Musician. Excellent, a musician. That can play the drum, right? Who can make furniture from wood? Who can make Carpenter. furniture? Like tables, desks, the carpenter. Chairs, carpenter. The carpenter. carpenter, the carpenter. Okay, who can mend your pipes and taps? Your water pipes and your water taps. Fontanier. In English is? I don't know. <laughs> plumber. plumber. The plumber. Plumber. Hmm? Plumber. The plumber, exactly. I can teach kids new things at school. Teacher. Teacher. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> I can draw and paint beautiful pictures. Picasso. <laughs> yes, I'm not a painter, but or artist. Artist. Uh, I can take people letters and cards. Secretary. I can take. I can take people letters and cards. I can take them and deliver them. Our postman. The postman. It's something that we don't usually do here in El Salvador. We don't we don't use the email that much. I can carry you deliveries everywhere. 
Like pedidos ya. Delivery. Delivery for Delivery. sale. Eleven. I can do tricks to make you surprised. In a circus, for example. Híjole. I can do tricks. I don't say payaso. I'm a magician. Magician. Somos? I can treat you when you have a toothache. Terentis. <laughs> I think you are um, afraid of the dentist. I can serve you food and drinks. Bartender. No. Matrix. The waiter, Where? 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 if it's a man, and if it's a woman, it's waitress. a waitress, exactly. Very okay. good, guys. So we practice occupations, right? With this activity, we practice, and you refresh your memory with the vocabulary from jobs and occupations. Now, we have here, um, I have this game with the practice of, can let me copy Just let me go to this page okay so uh, we are trying to practice uh, with some problems in this intense game or in this uh, dynamic, you are going to read some money problems and you have to decide whether you can buy it or not. You can buy the things in the problem or not. So you have to use your math, logic, intelligence. How good are you with numbers? Are you good with numbers? So so. So so. Yes. With numbers, math problems so, so. in English. I know, guys, you will be able to do it. We're going to do it as a whole class, okay? Not as a game, as a competition, but as a class. Okay. Good. Can you see the application? Yeah. Yes. Okay, nice. Solo que no pueden escuchar, ¿verdad? No. Mm -hmm. No listen. Mm -hmm. Creo que ahí me avisan cuando sí pueden. Okay, so let's start. Ay, ay, ay. Espera, no era así como lo quería. Quiero estar en el grupo uno. Ya podemos escuchar. Ay, 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 miren, ve, se me, se me hizo. Oh. Espérame, espérame. San Google. Wait a moment. Espérense. Wait a moment. <ríe> So you want to have you want to work in teams. Guys. Hello. Hello. Hello, Victor. Es que les pregunté algo y nadie me respondió. ¿Qué? I, I see. Yeah, I was thinking that we can do it as a new one. No le escuché bien, Tiche. No se le entendió muy bien, Tiche. Hello, and now? 
Now, yes. Okay, I'm going to uh, stop my video. Okay, maybe it's taken so much internet. Okay, so let's start. And just give me a number. Let's say Domingo, give me one number, please. From one to 16. Only one. Uh, Three. Four. <laughs> okay, four. Okay. Can you read the problem, Domingo? You see. Jack got Jack, the, the beer from his uncle for this birthday here, Emer do ten dollar bill for two two brothers. Can he buy boot the rolling block set? Okay, so Jack rolling blocks. Uh -huh. the building three to five. Uh -huh. Three to five. Uh -huh. Jack wants to buy these building blocks. They cost $35. He has one bill of $20. And he has two $10 bills. So how much money does he have? He has 15. He has one bill of $20. And he has two $10 bills. It means other $20. Okay. So 20 and he has 40. $40. $40. $40. Dollars. And he buy the building block set? Yeah. Yes. 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 He, he can. Yes, he can. can. Yeah. Very good. You could answer the question. Marlon, give me one number. Teacher, sorry, just one question. Bill, it doesn't mean factura. It can be, it can mean factura and also it can mean a uh, billete. Okay. Bills. Okay. Okay, okay. Thanks. Give me one number, Marlon. Number 10. You won 50 points. Okay, let's see. Alba, give me one number, please. Hi. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I I, I, <laughs> I pressed the incorrect number, but we have here the number six. Can you read, please, Alba? Cookies cost one. Cupcakes. I'm sorry. Cupcakes. Okay. Cupcakes cost one dollar. Each can buy a dance on day with to five dollar bill. Okay. So the cupcakes is they are one dollar each. Sack wants to buy a dozen. How many cupcakes are in a dozen? Done. Twelve. Four. A dozen wow. is twelve. Twelve. Una wow. docena. Uh, dozen. It's twelve. So right. can Zach buy a dozen of them with two five dollar bills? No, he can't. 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 Right? He can't. Five dollar bills is ten dollars. And in a dozen, he needs $12. Well. So no, he can't. Okay, Carlos Walberto, give me one number, please. Hi. Please read Hi. the problem. <clears throat> 
Jill and will teach one a uh, talking robot. If Jill has two five dollar bills and will has five one dollar bills, do they have enough money to buy two robot? Okay. So the talking robot costs fifteen dollars each. And they want to buy, Jill and Will want to buy two robots, right? One for each. How much money do they have? I'm sorry, yes. They have 15. Yes. They have $15. And $15. how much money do they need I'm to sorry, buy yes. two? They need 30. They need $30. So do they have enough money to buy two robots? Done. No, they, no don't. they don't. No, they don't. Because they need thirty dollars. No, they, they only have enough money to buy one, so no, they can't. Okay, Nancy, it's your turn. Nancy, Cita. <laughs> ah, teacher. Uh... Which number do you want? Just give me one number, Nancy. One, only, two. Only one. Seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen. Fifteen. Oh, another number. Um, Another number. Another number, please. Un nombre. Another number, please. One, two, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, or fifth or sixteen. 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 Six. Yes. Can you read, please? Can okay, how about? Uh, can Jan buy? Can Jan buy? Uh, puzzle? Puzzle? Cube? Cube with three, three one dollar? Beat it for cooker? Quarters. 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 So you have, I mean, Jan has three one dollar yes. bills. I mean, three dollars. Yes. And can. how much? How much are four quarters? Yes, he one can. Dollar. One dollar. One dollar. One dollar. Yeah. So three dollars plus one dollar. Plus one. Four dollars. Four dollars. Can Jan? Can Jan buy the poster cube? Yeah. Yes, he can. Yes, he can because, because he can. the puzzle cubes are four dollars. Yes, can each. buy the puzzle cube. Very wow. good, Amilcar. Wow. Amilcar Cañengues, it's your turn to choose a number. Nine. Okay. Another number, Amilcar. Seven. Please read the problem. Juice boxes cost juice boxes juice, juice boxes cost juice boxes cost one dollar each. Can Nick buy two of them with seven quarters? Okay. Seven quarters means how much money? One dollar seventy-five cents. Exactly. Remember a quarter is 25 cents. ¿Verdad? Yes. A quarter es una cora. Es yes. what we know as he cora. Can, 25 cents. He can buy. But Nick wants to buy two used boxes which cost one dollar each. But he's... No, he can't. No, 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 he, no. no he can't. Because he only has... He can. One dollar and... 
Three quarters. Me falta una cora. <laughs> yeah, he's missing one quarter. <laughs> you can give it to him. Let's see now. <clears throat> Vamos a ver. Otra chica. Jasmine. Can you tell us one number, please? One. A one. Okay. Okay, please. Read the problem. Jen is having a birthday party with a guest. How much will it cost by party favor for all her guests? Pa party favor quatro. $4. Four dollars. Four dollars each. So Jen is having a birthday party for a guests. How much would it cost to buy party favors for her eight guests? Two dollars. So you have to multiply. Multiply. Eight times four. Eight times four. So how much is it? How much would it be? 32. Excellent. I know, you know the tables of multiplication. Yes. $32. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's see. Alfredo Alexander? Yes. Choose the number and read the number. problem. Ah. 14. 14. Yes. Okay, Alfredo. Dusty wants to read all four books about the Lonely Dragon. If he say $5 a week, how many weeks will it be until he came by? All four books. Uh, the Lonely Dragon books, uh, $10 each. A week. He needs, how much money does he need? $40. He needs $40. Uh -huh. And he oh. can say $5 a week. So how many weeks will it be until he can buy all the four books? Eight weeks. 30 to order. Eight weeks. Eight weeks. Eight weeks. Eight weeks. Eight weeks. Eight weeks. Exactly, eight weeks. Very good. You multiply five times. ¿Cómo sería? Uh -huh. No. You divide it, right? 40? Five, four. 40. Uh-huh. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. Exactly. You divide it by five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. And the last one, because of the time we need to... Eight weeks. Uh, Mauricio, choose please a number. Um, number two. Please read the problem. Uh, Lana needs a new video game controller. Can she buy on with a ten dollar bills and three one dollar bills video game controller twenty dollars? How much money does she have? In total. $20. She has a $10 bill and three $1 $30. bills. 30 30 dollars Are you sure? She has she one $10. $10 bill and three $1 bills. $13. She has $13. 
Can she buy the video game controller? No, no she, she can't. can't. No, she can't. No, she can't. Okay. Exactly. Okay, you guys. Did you like this activity? Yes, teacher. Do you remember your math classes? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, good. It's so, a difficult in English. Yeah, but it makes you think. It makes you think, right? And that's important in English. Okay, let's continue with the other part of the of the class now. Uh, indeed, we have a review of the use of can. No, she can. By a meeting. Get away. Can me go down? <clears throat> okay, we can use when when we use scanning questions. Sorry, guys. When we use scanning questions, we can be doing one of the following. We can ask for permission. For example, can I leave the room, please? Can I speak with you? Mm -hmm. So we ask for permission. It's one of the of the uses of can. Another use is to ask for a possibility for what is possible. Can I travel on Monday? Can we take a train to New York? Uh -huh. So you ask for a possibility for what is possible which is what we have been studying yesterday, what we studied yesterday. Also, we can use can to make an informal request para solicitar algo. For example, can you help me? Can you bring me a glass of water? Can you lend me $100? Can I borrow your car? Okay. Entonces, en estas, en estas son las ocasiones que utilizamos can para pedir permiso, para preguntar por lo que se puede hacer y para hacer una solicitud informal. ¿Sí? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. In all the three cases, yes, can teacher. comes before the subject when it's a question. Because it is an auxiliary verb. Remember that when we ask questions, we do and ask these auxiliary verbs come before the subject. Right? Entonces, igual aquí, ¿verdad? El can va antes del sujeto para hacer una pregunta, ¿verdad? Va a ir al inicio. The y cuando... First. Perdón, sorry. No, 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 I listen. Nice. Any questions about this? ¿Tienen preguntas? Do you have any questions? No, teacher. Okay. Now. Puede, puede repetir la estructura de, de, de la oración. Estaba, estaba diciendo que antes del sujeto íbamos a agregar can. Sí, okay. entonces voy a escribir acá. Para preguntas, ¿ok? Ok. Questions. In plus the subject plus the verb in base form. Así. For example, in you. Can you substitute or can complement. you in, in complement teacher? In complement. Mm -hmm. Can you cover me on Saturday? Y como, I can't work on Saturday because I have to 
I have to go to the doctor. Can you cover me on Saturday? ¿Me puedes cubrir el sábado? Can you cover me on Saturday? Mm. Okay, yes, I can. <laughs> Another question. Can I use your computer? Mine is broken. Or mine doesn't work. Can I use your computer? What do you think? No can. Okay. Don't can. Oh, you can say, I'm sorry, but I need it. I need to continue. I need to work on something very important. I can't lend I'm, your computer. I'm sorry, only my. It's only my. Okay, another example could be, uh -huh. help me please. Can you send me the reports right away? I'm afraid I can, I haven't finished them. Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. Can I leave the class at 10 minutes be before? Before it ends? Puedo salirme de la clase 10 minutos antes de que termine. Before ends. I'm sorry, you can't. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. <Please> so, <laughs> you can you can write these examples in your notebook, guys, because, because I'm going to erase them. La voy a borrar so you can write them in this moment or you can take a screenshot you can take you can take yes. a screenshot thank you thank you you're welcome y acuérdense que así como res, así como preguntamos así respondemos verdad yes i can or no, I can't. Uh -huh. No, I cannot. No, I cannot. Or no, I can't. Tienen que hacer el, el, la, la pronunciación. Can. Ajá, can't. Can't. Can. Can I use your computer? Mine is broken. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you can't. Can you send me the reports right away? Of course I can. Can I leave the class 10 minutes before it ends? Sure. You can do it. Or, no, you can't. You don't have permission for that. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Now, the previous, okay. Yo creo que aquí está muy, lo voy a hacer más, más. Vamos a ver. Se lo voy a poner más digerible. Okay, so um, in the three cases, can comes before the subject because it is an auxiliary. Remember that when we ask, we do when the auxiliary comes before the subject. For example, uh, we have the auxiliary, the subject, and the verb. Do you want to fly economy class? 
The same applies for can. Auxiliary plus the subject plus the verb. Can we take the 11 o'clock flight? ¿Podemos tomar el vuelo de las 11? Can we take the 11 o'clock flight? If we want to ask an open question, just add WH in front of the auxiliary verb. For example, WH plus auxiliary can plus the subject plus the verb. Example, where do you live? Pero con can is igual. Where can I visit you in San Francisco? When, ¿cuándo puedo visitarte en San Francisco? When can I visit you in San Francisco? Can you write, uh, guys, some questions with WH using can, please, in the chat? On WH. WH, por ejemplo, what? ¿Cuáles son las WH words? What? What, when? Wow. Where, who, why, how, which, okay, but using can, please, use can. Who can help me, sería Matías. Who can help me? Porque ahí está usando el you. ¿Quién puedes tú ayudarme? El who sí es así, ¿verdad? Porque estamos preguntando quién es el sujeto. Who can help me? Sería. What can we do? ¿Qué podemos hacer? Very good. ¿Quién de ustedes quería poner? Uh, who of you can help me? Of you. Of, no, no hemos aprendido a utilizar el of. Can I help you? Ahí es, how can I help you? Where can I put my car or where can I park my car? Where can I park my car? When can you go home? When can you go home? Go home, Mr. Aceite. When can I go to the beach on vacation, Fatima? Only on vacation. Where do you buy the t-shirt? Donde compras las camisetas, okay? Where can our friends have lunch? Donde pueden nuestros amigos almorzar? How can I help you? Nice. Where can I take the flight in the airport? Where can I find your office? In the third floor. When can you go out to eat with me? Hmm, let me think about it. Tomorrow for lunch. Where can you leave the books? At the library. When can you help me with my homework? Never. No, just kidding. <laughs> when can you arrive? Sería, Carlos. Primero el can y después el you. When can you arrive? What can I do for you? Oh, you can um, save me some, a dozen of donuts. How can your brother swim so fast? Mm, he practices every day. How can I do my homework? You can do it with the help of your classmates. Okay, guys, what time can tell me? Can you tell me the time, Seria, Mr. Asentum? Can you tell me the time, please? 
How can you help me in my work? I give you support. You can do it. You can do it. I can cheer you up. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much. Vamos a ver qué dice aquí. Hola, teacher. Su me sacó de la clase. Ahorita no me deje entrar. I think that is William. Ah, pero es el internet. Oh, when can we eat wedding cake? <laughs> Who's gonna get married? <laughs> On November 28, my friend. November 28. Yes. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. What can you give me for presents? <laughs> I accept since uh, I accept from a blender to a car. <laughs> Only that. Only those things. <laughs> Only that. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Okay, thank you. I think you have you you can you have mastered the use of can. And what is the negative form of can? Okay. Hmm. Negative form of can. The negative form of can. Cannot. Can't or cannot. Uh -huh. Can't can is a contracted form. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can. Can't. Okay, and cannot. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. Now, notice this is important. Many students made the mistake of putting do or does in the question, and this is incorrect. For example, do you can go? This is incorrect. The correct form is. Can you go? Ajá, porque el auxiliar es can. Do es un auxiliar para hacer preguntas, pero cuando pre pero can va solito, ¿verdad? Tampoco le ponemos el verbo la S en tercera persona, ¿verdad? Pero se podría, dicho. ¿El que eh, Manejarlo con no. you can. Así como está aquí. No, 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 no. Eso es incorrecto. No. Okay. Tiene que ser solo el can. Can you go? Teacher, ¿y cuando es ocupa can como verbo? ¿Cómo así? For example. Come. Pues sí, es, es un verbo auxiliar. Ajá. Uh -huh. I can go, I can go to the park with you tomorrow. And Pero creo que no se puede when utilizar. When I use un... can in the third person, no es, no, no es. Have to... You don't have to put the yes, no. <clears throat> uh -huh. She can. O sea que can es igual, can it equal do or does? Yes, because it's an auxiliary. Mm -hmm. But the meaning is different because the meaning is for possibilities, for permission, for abilities. Uh -huh. Puedes, puede, puede. Mm -hmm. Puedo. Okay. Puedo ir. Puedes hacer tu tarea. Can you do your homework tonight? Okay. Oh, Matias says we can't go to your wedding. That's right.
Why do you say so, Matias? Why can't you go to my wedding? Why do you say so? No, what's the meaning of so? Esa sería la pregunta correcta. What is the meaning of so? En este caso es, ¿por qué dice eso, Matías? We can. Uh -huh. um, why can no, why is we no pero es que como can. cuando yo le pregunto a ustedes ustedes dicen nosotros ¿verdad? pero cuando yo le pregunto a ustedes uso el you en plural why can't you go to my way because mm -hmm. no puedo decir why can't we go to my wedding because it's my wedding I'm gonna be there. Mm -hmm. Yo sí puedo estar. <laughs> of course I have to be there. Okay, I send teacher, you teacher, this teacher, y si ocupamos. ¿Cómo ocuparíamos el can y el do juntos? Solo si usando el do como, como bueno. verbo. Uh -huh. Ajá, pero can, can you do? Can you do me a favor? Uh -huh. ¿Y si fuera puedes, revés? ¿Me puedes hacer un favor? Can you do me a favor? Ahí te lo voy a escribir. Ajá. ¿Y si fuera al revés? Do you can? No sé, ahí dice que es incorrecto. Uh -huh. Do you come? Ah, sí, ¿Invertir a la oración? No, no tendría, los... no tendría sentido, no se sentido. puede. No. Ah, por, el, por no tener sentido la oración. Uh -huh. ¿Puedes hacerme un favor? Porque ahí el verbo es el do, ¿verdad? La acción que usted está pidiendo, solicitando. ¿Can you do me a favor? ¿Puedes hacerme un favor? Yes. Another another question could be, can she do my homework? Puede ella hacer no. mi tarea? No, she can't. Mm -hmm. You have to do it. No. Mm -hmm. Yes, nobody else can do your homework. You have to do it. Okay. Okay. Muy bien, aquí hay unos ejercicios, creo que son los que les mandé en el WhatsApp group. Pueden yes. ir ahí, a esa página, the web page. Oye, me salí, y espero que no lo vamos a ocupar. Sí, sí me pude meter, pero no podía no escribir nada, Ticho. No era de escribir, era de presionar los, 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 era de presionar las, las, las palabras que aparecían ahí. Wow. Seleccionar cada palabra, y arma la oración, seleccionando. I love. Sí, por eso, <risa> por eso se, <risa> ay Dios mío, sus memes, sus emojis, sus stickers. Sí, no sé si se las envío aquí, eh, si quieren, al, si gustan al, eh, al, al Zoom. Teacher, I don't have the group WhatsApp or WhatsApp group, the number. Why? You link. To, yeah, there is a link. You have to do it with a link. But anyways, I'm gonna send it here in the chat. And maybe you can, let me know if you can get into it. But you need a link. Yes. Vamos a ver si le puedo mandar el link aquí en el chat para que se una. Okay. Let me see if I can send you. 
the link for you to get into the to join the group. Teacher, what was our list of teacher? <gasps> wow. I, I can't believe it's time, it's night already. Okay, try with that link. I see que se los. Sorry. <laughs> I am in a link, teacher. Okay, the last link I sent on the Zoom is the is the one you need for the WhatsApp group. Ah, okay. Here in, in, the, in the chat. Yeah, I'm going to I just have a question. We will send them in the chat because we can't answer them. Well, at least I don't have to answer them. I have to send them in the chat. Yes, yes, yes. Cada palabra hay que presionar ahí y te va, y va a ir armándola. Ah, una okay, okay. Yes, yeah. Hola, hola. The push. For example, you, you can't read, read this text. next. Ah, pero es una pregunta. Entonces es. Can, can can't you, you read can, this text? Can, can you read, you read, this, read text? this text? Son preguntas. All of them are questions. No, son preguntas. All of them are questions. So if, este... if there are questions, if there are questions, you have to um, start with can. But can is in negative form. Yeah, you can make questions with the negative form too. Can you read this text? Can you read, you this, read text? this text? No puede leer este texto? Can't you read this text? We Pero have... me la pone en X, me pone una X como que no está correcta la, 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 la redacción. No, no es para repetir. Es para si la, la presiona es que fue, se equivocó o, o quiere corregir la oración. Ah, ok, 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 ok. Can you read this text? Can, can I hide the mirror, please? No es así. Huh? Esa no es así. Can I have the mirror, please? The number two. Aquí yes. la he puesto yo. Can I have the meal, please? Puedes darme, have, puedes tener la leche, por favor. Well, ah, yes. sí, sí, can I have yes. the meal? Is, puedo, pueden pasarme o can I have? Have no solo uh -huh. es tener, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. No, también es, puede tener diferentes significados. Ajá. Can I have the meal? Que es como, puedo, me pueden pasar o la tener. leche. O tener la leche, ajá. Pero tampoco así. Bueno. Ah, I was going to tell the tenants, guys. It's fine. Es que al final le vas a dar corre, uh, al final tienes que hacerlas todo y al final tienes que darle ahí y te va a dar las respuestas fallé. correctas. Ajá. La primera vez. Sí, es... sí y, y you can send your, este. your results on the WhatsApp group. Alfredo Alexander. Present. Amil Carcañengues. Present, teacher. Carlos Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Cristina Romero. Roxana. Present. Present, present teacher. Domingo González. Present. Fátima Portillo. Present. José Matías Lemos. Present, teacher. ¿Me escuchó? Marco David. Es que no estoy en la página del grupo. Present, teacher. Marlon Cardona. Present. Mauricio Majano. Present. Maideli Judith. 
Present. Nancy Rodríguez. Present. Rocío Martínez. Present teacher. Salvador Escobar. Present teacher. Sandra Velázquez. I think she can't be present. Victor Quintanilla. But, but, sorry, Victor Calzadilla. Present. Uh, Walter González. Um, William Pérez. Present. And Jasmine Melanie. Present. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, did you finish that one? En todas fallé. Solo en una, no. Remember, first can, then the subject, then the verb, then complement. In the question. La primera vez fallé con sí, con todo. Four. Que yo... <risas> four, no, four. Uh... La primera vez se es fallan que... todas, me salieron buenas. Yo todas me salieron malas. Solo la buena una está buena. Solo la, en la última fallé. Nueve de, nueve de diez, teacher. Oh, Sandra está presente. Oh. Ok. Um, if you see here. Ooh, I got it. I got them all correct, 100%. I can, I can do it. Now I can use can in questions. Good, there is another one, but you can do it um, by your own, okay? Ahí les van links, ustedes las pueden hacer, ¿verdad? Para que practiquen in your lunch time. But now we need to continue with the other topic, which is um, which is the going to, okay? Pero creo que era necesario ese, ese review. Yes. And now it's clearer. Guys, uh, the topic is shipping label. Here we have a shipping label. I'm gonna read it for you guys. We have from Travers Inc. 23, Glenway San Carlos, Central America, 0570, made in the US. To Literal Road, number 34, La Unión, El Salvador. Entonces, Viene de Estados Unidos. It comes from United States to Guapara. La Unión. La Unión. Tra uh -huh. Tracking number. You have the tracking number there. 0012-0134233. Quantity, 65 units. Shipment, 784. Sender, AB67H. We have an, and then the tracking number, the date, which is sent 12 for, I mean, the 12 of April, 2013. The net weight, el peso neto, is net weight 120 pounds, or libras, pounds. Mm -hmm. Now, guys, read the shipping label, information, and answer the questions. What is the shipping address? What is the mailing address? How many units are in the package? What is the manufacturing date?
In group or here? He, uh, individually. And what is okay. which address? Literal rap. Teacher Glenway San Carlos. Glen White. Glen White. Glenway San Carlos. No, the, the shipping address is the person that receives the des, destinatario. Entonces, entonces, literal roll number 34. La Unión. La Unión El Salvador. Yes, is the address where you will send the order. Okay. So I'm gonna put here where you will send the order. And the mailing address where you send it or from where you're sending. Como se dice numeral en inglés, teacher? Mm, numeral. The mailing, address, the mailing address is la dirección postal. A veces no es la misma, ¿verdad? Where In este caso se de Trevor. Un... No, no. Len White. Zero five seven zero. Very the manufacturing date. Ay, es que aquí no puedo ver primero. Voy a. Use. Made in use. USA. No, la dirección USA. postal es, es 0570. 0570. Oh. O sea, el okay. apartado postal. Ajá. Para Thank mí es ese. Yes, that is the mailing address. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y no la dirección completa, teacher. No, es que solamente Ajá. es, es el, el código postal. Ok. La dirección termina donde dice... Centroamérica. Sí. Ah, no. C8. C8. 
CA. No, es que sería San Carlos CA, Made in the USA. No. 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 Made in is a manufacturing date. No. No, no, no. Es no. fecha va. Es de la fecha va. Es la manufacturing, manufacturing date. Manufacturing place. Mire, espérame, me lo voy a poner. Ajá, ah, ya lo vi, ya lo vi. Manufacturing date. Ay. Well, 12, ma, April, April 12, 2013. 2013, sí. correct. Uh -huh. Esa no es. Puedo poner. Ok, this eh, is the manufacturing se, date. Dice, what yes. is the malady yes. address? Eh, Mailing ma, address 0570. Zero. zero. Uh -huh, esa es. Yeah. Es que es como el buzón a donde va a llegar el buzón, el número de buzón, algo así. Ok, está bien. Ok, here, guys, can you see the, the arrow with the manufacturing date? Ahora sí ya se ve. Yes. Ok, that is the manufacturing date oh. with the, with the um, initials MFG. Have a question. Mm -hmm. The number, the question number two. Number one. The number, number one. What is the shipping address? Shipping Either. address? The address where the... It's wrong. It's it's wrong. Right. wrong or exactly. Two. Number three. From? Literal road. Mm hmm is the receiver who is going to receive that is the shipping address okay is a two yeah the number one is this one literal road number 34 la union el salvador the number two plain by san carlos ci Five, the, the, uh -huh. the, the, the uh -huh. código postal. Sí, zero, five, seven, la dirección postal. Zero, five, seven, zero. Zero, five, seven, zero. Zero, five, 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 zero. Que para el caso sería toda, ¿verdad? Sí, toda. Uh -huh. Ajá, okay. Ahí usted puede escribir o contactar la compañía o la empresa. Ok, sí. ¿Y, y, y, y si fuera solo código postal? ¿Cómo se dice? Esa es un, es un, es un, a veces es, es solo un, puede ser solo un número, pero en el mismo pero... país. Exacto, se determina el lugar exacto. Ajá, pero como es. Es muy difícil. Pero este aquí, 0570, puede repetirse en muchas direcciones. Yes. Ajá, por eso necesita all the, the address, the complete address. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. eh, 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 es que, che, cuando uno llega, yo nací cosas por correo electrónico, aparece la dirección, pensé, lo que parece, la pregunta, ¿cuál es de.? Andrés. No, es, que la es, dirección. Es, es diferente. Y después pone... El código, el código postal es único, teacher. Yo, yo mando, yo mando a Estados Unidos uh -huh. y me dan un número único de código postal, el CIP. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, entonces, ese es como, uh -huh. eh, como cuando usted manda una correspondencia, como que llega un buzón, a un número de buzón. Uh -huh. Entonces ese, ese es el, el número único, por eso le decía yo si era 570. Ok, mire qué bueno saber eso porque, por ejemplo, siempre eso me ha confundido un poco. Cuando, por ejemplo, este, ¿cuál sería el, en El Salvador? Aquí no no hay. hay código postal. Entonces, ah, pero, pues, cuando, pero cuando no llenamos un, una forma para hacer un pedido, uh -huh. nos pide código postal. Entonces nosotros ponemos eh, cuatro sí. veces el cero. Uh -huh. O sea, rellenar, porque si no, si no rellenas, no te deja pasar el formulario. Entonces uno oh. pone en el de nosotros, ponemos cuatro veces cero. Pero si yo mando para Estados Unidos, 
eh, la, el lugar donde me manda es, me está dando un código postal, me está dando un número. Ok, y entonces en este caso no sería este de acá. El 570 sería, podría ser el tipo. Pero es que la pregunta... Pero la pregunta dice, what is the mailing address? Uh -huh. La dirección de correo, la dirección de correo uh -huh. siempre va a ser la, el lugar, la calle, la ciudad, la esto, ubicación eso, geográfica. Eso, eso, eso de lo, es, de lo, es bien confuso porque cuando uno manda, compra algo por eBay o todo eso, ah. el, código, el código postal del, del país aparece que es 1123. ¿El de nosotros? Sí, o Pero 503. Cuando, cuando, cuando no, 503 viene, es el código postal de llamada. El código área. Pero cuando código uno, área. Ajá, que el código de área, pero cuando uno compra cosas de eBay de otro país, de, de todo el mundo, cuando viene el paquete, ahí dice el código postal, dice 1123 en el país. Pero es que también funciona, de, de, es que como usted compra a través de un intermediario que le ayuda a jalar su paquete, entonces uno, uno crea un buzón con ellos. Por ejemplo, con este Trans Express, yo quiero uh -huh. traer algo, entonces yo creo un buzón con ellos y ellos me dan un número de postal. Entonces, cuando yo compro, eh, mi producto se va al buzón de Estados Unidos de ellos, el número que me dieron ellos. Y ellos sí, me lo jalan. Y de ahí, y de ahí se, lo man, se lo mandan. Por y, delivery. Ellos me lo, y ellos me lo Como jalan. Como decís vos, Matías, es diferente. Ajá, pero... pero sí, porque es, a mí me aparece 1123 cuando dice el código postal, cuando entra el país y en el paquete ahí me yo aparece. In... Ajá, yo importo bastantes cosas y, y yo pongo 1114. Porque es el de aquí. Es que es el código cuánto? postal de correo. Mm. Del correo más sí, cercano. Sí, no que tenés. en el correo. Pero realmente no funciona. Porque el correo de El Salvador todavía no usa código postal. Por eso se usan la dirección completa. Por eso se usan los cuatro ceros solamente para rellenar. Sí, después de usar los cuatro ceros, como puso el compañero, 1123, yo pongo 1114, sí, que es el del Paisnal o el de Aguilar. Se <risa> topó una discusión de importadores aquí. <risa> no, estamos aprendiendo inglés para eso. <risa> vale, este... Ok. En el lead. Eh, número 3 no, código 0210 ok and I have a question I have a question eh, Jasmine the, 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 the mailing address has to be with uh, only four digits only four digits no es que, es que depende por ejemplo 07451 es el de mi papá. Entonces, depende, depende, creo que ahí sí, en Estados Unidos depende del Estado. Ok, state. Sí, es correcto, en Estados Unidos depende del Estado. Y son hasta yes. seis números. Ok. Continue. <laughs> Continue. How, how many units are in the package? Next. How many units? I know let's say compartiendo, ¿verdad? 65 units. 65. 65 units. 65 units. 65 units. It says there. Why would you see other question? What is the manufacturing date? Manufacturing date. Mm -hmm. It's 12, of April, April, April 12, 12, 2014. 2014. 2014. 2014. Very good. Okay, guys. Now we have to move to this. It's already 922. Uh, how to use be going to? I think you have already studied this a little bit, right? We have the affirmative and negative form. Affirmative form, mm -hmm. I am going to give you the information. Negative form, I'm not going to give you the information. So, 
The other example, the airline is going to transport the shipping. The airline isn't going to transport the shipping. Your packages are going to arrive tomorrow. Your packages aren't going to arrive tomorrow. Where is the package, the package going to arrive? It's information question. Who is going to deliver it? Information question. So how are you uh, going to? Okay, for affirmative, the affirmative form is the following. Subject, the structure, subject, sorry. We have the subject, then we have the verb to be. The verb be form that can be depending the subject, right? Am, is, or are. Right? Then we have uh, the verb form. And finally, the complement. That is for okay, affirmative. We're going to. Ah, yes, you are, no, you are I'm right. I'm going to teach you. Uh -huh. Thank you, plus going to plus the verb in base form plus the complement. Thank you, Matia. So we have the verb B form. Okay, this is very important. The verb B form plus going to. And then the verb in the base form. And the complement. We can make an example. We are, we are going to finish the course on October. 14, right? So we have the subject is, what is the subject? R and No, we the R we. 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 Uh -huh. the The verb be form. R. 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 Affirmative. R. R. Mm -hmm. Then we have going to, going to, and then finish, which is the verb in the base form, finish, and then the complement, the course on October 13. Let's make another example. With, let's say, let's use a name, Marco. What is the, the verb B form? For is. Marco is exactly because it's their person. Marco is and then going, going, to. going to Marco going is to. going to travel. Okay, is going to travel to where? USA. Canada. Oh, Canada. Okay. Marco is going to travel to Canada at the end of the year. Okay? It's easy, right? It's not that difficult. But we're, I'm gonna move this to another slide. Teacher, no pregunta. Y esto siempre es el simple question. It's future. Future plans. Or 
arrangement. Could you please? Mm -hmm. uh, Un queco. <laughs> now negative. The negative form is the same. Subject plus. Ahora aquí lo voy a escribir así en solo, ¿verdad? Okay. Plus the negative form of the verb to be. Um, is or are plus not, right? Plus going to, plus the verb, and plus the complement. Example, the same ones. We are. Mm -hmm. We are not going to. Aren't. We are not, or we aren't, not going to finish, finish the course. On October 14. 11. Okay. <laughs> and Marco. Mm -hmm. It's not going to. Going to travel. It's not or isn't. Going to. It's not going to travel. To Canada in November. Okay. Now for questions for teacher. Yes. Where you put on October eleven and in in the next you put to Canada in November. Good observation. And I like that you ask that, that question because when we use a specific date, we use on, 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 on for a specific date on October 11th. All right. But November or, is very day. Or for days. Right. For days of the week, we use on. On Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, eh, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday. We are very specific. All right. Thank you. But when it's in general, like months, just the month or just the year, you use in. In November, in December. And uh, um, in the year, uh, in 2022, in 2025, etc. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome. And questions for questions, we need to have first the verb to be, yes. And is, is are, or are, and then the subject immediately, and then going to plus the verb and the complement as well. For example, Are we? Going to finish the course. In. In. November. Are we going to finish the course in November? No, we we aren't. No, we no, we aren't. Question uh, in for uh, with WH question, we use WH 
Lost. When. Exactly. When we just put the WH before. When. If we are not going to finish the course in November, so when are we going to finish it? When are we going to finish it? We finish on We are going to finish October 11th. The course on On October Are you taking notes? Are you taking notes? Yes, teacher. Okay. If not, I pass to the next slide. So you put full screen? Yeah, you can take a, a screenshot. Just make sure that I, I, según yo estoy copiando el formato. Can I pass to the practice? Yes. Yeah, I know you are eager to practice. <gasps> those, those breath, deep breath. <laughs> okay, guys, anyways, I'm gonna send the, the presentation after we finish the class. And so if you have any questions, um, you can um, go to, to the presentation or you can watch the, the, the video conference on the platform, okay? I think I'm going to change this part to another slide here, okay? So <clears throat> we have some exercises here in which you have to put the words in order and then answer the questions, okay? Okay. Oops. Ay, ay, ay. Sorry, sorry, guys, sorry. I'm playing. Just kidding. Okay. 
For example, in the um, number one. Where? Where are? Mm -hmm. Where, where are you? No, where I? Where are we going to? Where are they going to? Pick up. Pick up the package. The package. The package. The package. Where are they going to pick up the package? Excellent. Okay, what about the... Uh, the number two. Who are we? Who is? We start with who. Who is? is going to receive the shipping? Who is going to receive the shipping? I'm Paolo. Okay, who's going to receive the shipping? And the last one. Gwen is going to write the new material. Gwen is going when? to. When is going the new, when is going to, when is the new material? because we have the subject. The subject is the new material. When write. is the new material going to? Going to write. Arrive. Arrive. When is the new material going to arrive? So now you have to uh, answer the questions. Teach, teacher in you know, a number one is each sujeto. So, in a number two, quiero decir, en la number two. No, because we don't know the subject. That's why we are asking who, quien, no sabemos, we don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shipping, shipping. You can answer with your ideas, guys. Teacher. Tell me. En la número tres, ¿por qué quedó el going to como complemento? Can you repeat your question, please? ¿Por qué el going to quedó como complemento? No es el going to quedó complemento. En la número tres. The new material is el subject. No hay, no hay este complemento en la last question. O sea, no, not all the questions will have complement. In this case, if you notice, when is the question word? When is the verb? The new material is the subject so yet. going to, uh, and then we have the verb arrive. Arrive, arrive. We don't have complement. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay, gracias. Teacher, ¿qué vamos a hacer, teacher? Answer the questions. Las respuestas quiere decir. With your own ideas. In the chat. You can, uh, you can give me the answers in the, in the chat. Hoy no, hoy no les hemos puesto en el breaker rooms. 
No se oye, Tinchi. Hello. No, no, no se escuchó que dijo que no nos ha puesto en el break room. No se escucha. Really? Don't listen. Don't listen you. You didn't understand me. Ah, you don't like working in the break room. Mm -hmm. Where are they going to the program? We're learning more in here, teacher. Oh, I'm sorry. Also, ¿Qué pica? El Cherokee. <laughs> ah, ok, gracias. Ah, sí, es cierto. Gracias, gracias. Ahora ayúdenme a mí, shipping. I don't know. El envío, el pedido. El envío. Ajá, el pedido, el envío, el eh, cargo. Yes, yes, yes. We have many, mean, I mean, many word, many ways. Ajá. Okay, excellent. Fatima, they are going to pick up the package at the airport. That could be one, one answer. Good. Thank you, Fatima. And another option could be. I cannot uh, entend it. Okay. <laughs> ¿Dónde van a recibir el envío? ¿A dónde lo van a recoger? Perdón, ¿dónde lo van a recoger? At the airport. At the port. En el puerto. Who is going to receive the shipping? I guess to the my postman. My wife. Okay. okay. My wife. The postman teacher. The post office? Postman. El postman es como um, one dice, person, ¿quién va, exactly. ¿quién, ¿Quién va a recibir el envío, el envío dice, verdad, teacher? Uh -huh. Yes. My wife. The agent, uh, el agente aduanero. The agency, puede decir, ¿no? okay. Uh -huh. The post office, the post agency, the mail agency, the shipping uh, office or agency. And when is the new material going to arrive? The next weekend. It's going to arrive next weekend. That could be one option. Correo. Very good. Now, guys, and, uh, we are running out of time, but in the next activity, uh, you are going to create a shipping label. And with a partner, you have to create a conversation where one partner asks for information about a shipping and the other in an agent. You have to switch roles and present to the class, but we don't have enough time to do all the complete activity. But I would like guys that you create a shipping label individually and that you individually create a conversation, a short conversation asking like questions similar to these ones. For example, uh -huh, a similar conversation with a conversation with the similar questions. Is it clear? Uh, 
we can make, I'm sorry? Era, eh, es de hacer eh, solo las preguntas y responderlas. Mm, como en una conversación. Que... Like in a conversation. Exactly. With, with this example. Following the example or your own. También pueden incluir sus propias ideas. But you have to make a shipping label. Eh, eh, y necesito que me lo envíen. Was, you can send it to my WhatsApp or email. For example, the shipping. What is label, teacher? Es el, el, el rotulito. El encabezado, el, el nombre. El, I, how can I say this in Spanish? Es this. This is the label. Etiqueta. La etiqueta, thank you so much. Yo le dije el rotulito, like this one. This is the label. Mm. El que le ponen a la cajita, ¿verdad? la etiqueta que le ponen a la cajita cuando, o, o al paquete. Para identificarla, donde va la information. La etiqueta técnica, algo así. The information. The, uh -huh. the shipping. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. Information of the shipping. Entonces ahí le pone, ¿verdad? From. To. Um, okay. The manufacturing date. Only, only etiqueta. No, and the conversation. Okay. The, the manufacturing date. And you can include other informations like the el peso neto, the net weight. So you can create a label. And you create a conversation, okay? And you can send it to me by WhatsApp or you can send it to me by email, okay? You choose how to send it to me.
Okay, are you looking at my example, guys? Yes. Okay, you're gonna do something similar. And now the conversation is going to be here. You are calling, it's like you're calling the, the, to the agent, the person who gives you information. For example, this is Rocio. I am calling from the restaurant, from the Quinta Bully restaurant. About the shipping. On Wednesday. Twenty second. And then you continue the conversation. Yes, I know. That's why, I mean, you finish the conversation and then you send it to me. I was just making these examples. So, guys, Oh, nice. You can send it to me. So, what did you learn today, guys, in this class? I don't have my camera. I didn't notice. Mm. I didn't know I didn't have my camera on. Be careful <laughs> with the Instagram. Yes, I, and you didn't tell me. <laughs> que le la, la, la... Yes, send me the conversation and the shipping label. You can send it to me like I'm sure. a, I don't a understand. image picture in, in the WhatsApp. Or by email, you choose. Either right way, or in the morning. Mm -hmm. Right now. Right now, it's better. Amilcar, what's your question? Yes, uh, no le entendí bien respecto a, a ese tipo de conversaciones. Y yo lo hice como, como una conversación. Eh, Con A Ve el WhatsApp, teacher. 
I need to take the attendance. Okay. But I will try. Así lo hice yo, Tich. En letrita de mano. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, it was a good one. Just like a few um, corrections, but good job, Matias. Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys, I need to take the attendance right now. Alba Dinora. Listen. Alfredo Alexander. Alfredo. Acaba de estar por ahí. <laughs> okay. Um, Amilcar, aceitun, cañenca, aceitun. Acaba de estar por ahí también. <laughs> es que este, 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 zoom. El ¿verdad? internet nos engaña. Yeah, there's was some. Okay, um, Carlos Rodríguez. Cristina Romero. Presente. Y Carlos o Alberto ya tampoco. Tampoco. Yo acabo de verlo también. Cristina Romero, ok. Domingo González. Present teacher. Fátima Portillo. Present. Matías Lemos. I'm here. Marlon Cardona. Present. Mauricio Majano. Present. My daily Judith. Present in the chat. Okay, na thank you, my daily. Eh, Nancy Rodriguez. Present. Rocio Martinez. Present teacher. Salvador Escobar. Present oyente in the chat. Thank you. Eh, Sandra Velasquez. Víctor David. Present. Present. Uh -huh. Marco uh, David dice, dice present in the chat, sí, Marco. Ya lo vi. Well, thank you. Walter González, absent. William Pérez. Present. Yasmín Melanie. Present, teacher. And the, uh, she's the last one, right? Okay, guys, thank you so much for being in the class this evening. I, um, I hoped uh, that you can send me the, the, the homework, the assignment, and I hope also that you can have a very pleasant night. Uh, this evening is the turn off. Well, on um, Mr. Cañengas, you couldn't stay yesterday because you were not in the class. I don't know if you can stay this evening. Or Carlos Walberto Rodriguez is Carlos Torn this evening. So you choose. Mr. Cañengas ya no está, ¿verdad? No. Ni, igual, ni Carlos tampoco. No. De allí está Cristina. Tampoco ya no está. Como dijo que podía retirarse 10 minutos antes. No, but that was, that was just an example. It was just an example. It was not true. Okay. Now I clarify that. Bueno, Mauricio me había preguntado si, no sé si es porque quería quedarse hoy. No, teacher. Oh, just, no. Okay. <laughs> bueno, si alguien desea quedarse, I mean, you have 10 minutes. Okay, Victor. Thank Victor. you. Okay, guys. Have, good, have a good night. Take care. Have See a beautiful you. night, Hello, people. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night, teacher.
Good night, teacher. Bye. 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 Rest well. Sweet dreams. Good night, people. Good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night, Fatima. Hello, Victor. Eh, Hello. No sé si Sandra está escuchando o... No, ah, pues si puede desconectar ese dispositivo, por favor, porque... Solo tengo... Ok. Uh, only one student. Ok, thank you so much, Victor. How are you? How do you feel? Sorry, teacher. Um, todo el trabajo pendiente del día estaba sacando hace un momento. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh -huh. mm, y hay muchos nervios. And how is everything going? What have the doctor said? And now to 10 o'clock, I'm going to hospital. Um, ¿le, ¿Le llamaron del hospital? No, ingresó. Ah, ella ingresó ahora en la mañana. Uh -huh. o ahora en la tarde. 10 de la mañana. 10 ah. de la mañana. ¿Y no ha nacido el bebé todavía? No, nope. hace oh. una hora llamé y aún todavía. No ha nacido. Mire, y ya le dijeron si va a ser niña o niño. Si sabe qué va a ser. Sí, niño. Desde oh, hace hoy. cinco meses, sabemos. Ay, it's a boy. Ok. Entonces, eh, mañana nos vamos a... Bueno, mañana me voy a poner al día con tareas y, y las clases. Las voy a volver a ver. Sí, correcto. Y, uh -huh. y dependiendo si sale ella mañana, mañana mismo se conecta de una vez. Pero vamos a tratar de ir un día cada uno de oyentes. Si en caso hay mucho que hacer con el bebé. Ay, oh, sí. Bueno, solo son dos horas clases, ¿verdad? Pero... Correcto. Si está es... dormido, pues ahí aprovechamos ambos. Uh -huh. Está bien. Bueno, este, no sé si ustedes hablaron eso con, con las personas de inglés corporativo acerca de su situación. Mm, no, no, no hablamos de esa parte, pero por eso tratamos de no estar perdiendo. El, aquel día incluso veníamos llegando del hospital y nos conectamos para... Sí, Hace la mayor cantidad sé, de tiempo. Yo sé, ajá, y, y qué bueno, ¿verdad? Eso demuestra su responsabilidad. Yo digo, en caso de este realmente ella necesite descansar, ¿verdad? <risa> Mañana. Um, pues eso ya, eso hemos estado discutiendo con ella sobre esa parte y vamos a tratar de estar conectados siempre a la hora. Vamos. Excelente, excelente. Uh -huh. y... Solo si nos levantamos, nos ponemos de oyente el momento y, uh -huh. y volvemos. Muy bien, excelente. Entonces, sí, mañana revisaría, toca revisar la, la bueno, lo reviso. Eh, Miércoles mañana, tendría que revisar. Uh -huh. eh, la, la clase número, los, sí. la, la tarea, ¿verdad? De, tarea de, de número la cuatro. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. De la uno a la cinco. Correcto. Así que ya lo van a ir revisando, cabal, el jueves justo en la mañanita. Entonces tienen hasta mañana para hacerlo. Uh -huh. Sí, mañana a la espera de. Y eh, le cuento alguna novedad. Sí, realmente espero que todo salga bien, ¿verdad? Me imagino los nervios que hay de sentir ahorita. La preocupación. Sí. You, you look worried uh, and nervous and anxious. Sí. The work and this. And you, the a class. lot of things to do. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Is this your Pero, first baby? Eh, de nosotros. Ok. Yes. Así que a la espera, yo le pero preferí quedarme para comentarle esa okay. parte que no. Y si queda registrado ahí con ellos también, de que está, vamos a tratar de ser responsables siempre con el horario. Excelente. Y el tiempo de la clase. Y uh -huh. thank Por you si so much. Un momento que uno se pierde. O hace un momento me desconecté para llamar porque del teléfono y de ahí otra vez me volví a reconectar. Pero muchas gracias por estar pendiente también. 
Ah, okay. No, you're welcome. I know it's a very important thing in your life, an important event <laughs> in your life. Yes. yes, and an important, um, I mean, situation in, in for your life. <laughs> I mean, I mean, for your health. You. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I hope that everything goes well with Sandrita and the baby, which is the most important Thank thing you. in this moment for you. And um, I don't know if you have any questions about the topics but if you have uh, you can contact me by whatsapp and i can help you right in the moment okay mm -hmm. yeah for Thank me it's, it's easier to answer in the morning because i have more time in the morning but in the afternoon i am busier in the afternoon i have more work <laughs> Yeah, but in the morning I have more time, so you, I, I mean, I don't have problems in answering, in answering your, your doubts or questions in the morning. Okay, in the okay. afternoon I can answer, but you have to wait more because I am uh, busier. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome, yeah, Peter. And you also need to rest. Thank you, teacher. And mañana le cuento. Okay, Victor. Nos thank seguimos. you for your trust in for trusting in me. Okay. Have a good night. Rest well. Good night, teacher. I hope you can thank rest. You. you need to. You look <laughs> tired. Say hi to Sandrita, please. Bye. Saluditos. Okay. okay. Good night. Good.